how long can this relatively tiny battery run this freezer? If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. In today's video, we're looking at an extremely compact 100 amp hour lithium battery by Rododo. So not only is this battery 35% smaller than your standard 12 volt battery, it's also 69% lighter. I mean, I'm not the Hulk, but I can do that, which means that it would be perfect for a large range of applications in which size and weight matter. And not only does it have all of those features to it, but it's also got overcharging, undercharging, heat, uh, uh, all, the, all the safety features you could ever want already inside of this battery. They are extremely safe batteries. Uh, you know, with your typical lead batteries, you really gotta watch them, you gotta pay attention, you gotta get your voltages correct. Because if you discharge them too much one time, you've cut, you've cut the life of the, of, of the Dern battery down to almost nothing. Like it, you know, there is a point in which regular uh, uh, lead batteries will not come back. They will be permanently damaged. In which case you do not have to worry about that with lithium batteries. Lithium batteries are pricey. They are gonna cost you more in the initial than a lead acid battery. But if you can swing it, by God, you should. Um, I, we, we actually use lithium in our personal setup here on our off-grid mountain. Um, not everyone can afford them, right? Sometimes with lead acid batteries, you can find one used or you can find one that has been refurbished re, uh, and get those cheaper. But it's not actually cheaper in the long term. Lithium batteries pay for themselves many, many times over because they're supposed to last around 15 years. However, the kicker is, if you don't discharge them below 60%, they could last forever. Now, the only there's a lot of people out there who are a bit nervous about it, mainly because of the price point, but also because they're relatively new. Uh, yes, they've been out for, for several years, but you and me, your average person hasn't had one for 25 years yet. So, so you don't know anyone who has that personal experience with the lifespan of it. But all the facts and everything points to that being the case. And if you can swing the money, uh, get a loan, contact a friend, whatever you got to do to get you a lithium battery in the beginning, it'll pay you dividends for many, many years. So let's say if you're using this in a solar setup, you're gonna have a charge controller with it, in which most of the time, you know, all of, you, all of your power usage runs through it, but you get a second layer of protection inside of these batteries. You cannot overcharge them in themselves. You can hook a solar panel right to it. In theory, you don't even need a charge controller if you go with a lithium battery. However, we all do it. We all still have one. Uh, but you can't overcharge them. You can't undercharge these. If you got two jumper cables and bzzz, it would stop. It would all by itself. This is by far the safest battery you can have. As per time of filming this on the Steep in the Woods mountain, it is incredibly hot. Everyone is just dying. So I thought what better way to test out this battery than to pull out our small 12 volt freezer, put a bunch of water in it and see how long this battery can run and whether or not it can actually freeze them. The plus side of this is we all get a cold drink. There we go, it's on its lowest setting. Right now the temperature is saying 78. I'm gonna put you guys on time-lapse. We'll see A, how long the battery lasts, and also how low the temperature drops.
been about four and a half to five hours since we plugged this freezer up and we have went from 78 to 37. So we've got our cold drink, even though now it's evening and, and it's not quite as hot any, anymore. Um, cold drink is a check. Cold. Very cold. My hands hurting. It's so cold. It's good. Okay. Remarkably, especially since this is such a tiny battery, tiny, uh, we are still reading full voltage, complete for uh, twelve point uh, seven volts. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it, right? Cold drink, check, good, does that. I think I'm gonna leave it overnight and see how cold this will get. Now, I don't know if the freezer can actually achieve negative four degrees, which is its lowest setting, um, but we'll see. We will see uh, how long can this little battery run this freezer. Now, I would never do this with a regular lead acid battery. You will ruin it, uh, but these have safety features in them. It's not going to hurt the battery at all to be run completely out. Um, but chicken. So I say, let's see how long it will run. Let's come back tomorrow and see if nothing, I can't leave it forever. I mean, for all I know, this battery will run it for multiple days. I can't do that. But right now, after five hours, 12.7. We're going to come back tomorrow and see what the voltage reads as well as what the temperature reads. It's been over 24 hours now, and I actually went back to the house and got my voltage meter because I did not believe what the refrigerator was telling me. At this moment, we're still pushing 13 volts, which is incredible for such a small, lightweight battery. If you're looking for a lithium battery and size and weight matter, I can now fully recommend this battery, and by all means, get your 5% off Steep in the Woods coupon. And as always, if you liked what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. You know, support the project, there are links below. Until next time here, Steep in the Woods.